everyone, I'm Julie and I'm just popping on to show you this small haul that I got from the recent Happy Planner sale. It came in this huge envelope, which of course the postman shoved through the door. I think he must have folded it in half. So I'm hoping that nothing inside is damaged, but as far as I know, there isn't anything breakable inside. So let's get it open. I'm going to use scissors rather than rip it. I do wonder how eco-friendly this wrapping is. I don't think it's eco-friendly at all. And let's get everything out. Oh dear, that's not good. Not good at all. So I'm not too happy about that. Let's move these aside. I'm not sure whether to blame Happy Planner for not putting it in a narrower envelope or the postman for, as I said, bending it over to shove it through my door. Let's just open it up. Hope there's not too much damage inside. Never had any problems with Happy Planner and delivery before. And I really love these letters. Hmm. They are well and truly creased. I mean, they sh still should be usable, I think, once I peel them off. But it's really not the best. Yeah, all the way through. And these were the reason that I placed the order in the first place, because I really wanted to have these alphabets. I kept saying to myself that you can draw these alphabets yourself, you don't need to order them. But I've had my eye on these for I think a couple of years and they disappeared from sight. So when they returned and were in a sale, I really wanted to get hold of them. Well, I have to be honest, I am really disappointed in the condition of those stickers. Hope the others aren't like that. Got this little freebie, it says you are a world changer, born to shine and conquer. I haven't used the last one, which was really cute, it was um, one of the animals from Jungle Vibes. I ordered these bookmarks from the Work Plus Life range. So let's open them up. So I had my eye on these when the Work Plus Life range first came out, but they were a little bit on the expensive side just for bookmarks. But I am always losing my place, particularly in my work planner, especially now I've got a new one. So I really wanted to use these to section the areas off. So we've got one that says this week and stay humble and be kind. They're sort of frosted, quite thick and sturdy. Then the next one says this month and good things are ahead. And the last one just says notes and go the extra mile. So as I say, I wouldn't have got those except for the fact that they were having a sale. And the main reason for my order was to use my points up because points expire if you don't use them. And mine were going to expire in a week or so. So I thought this was the best opportunity to use them and at least it covers the shipping costs. So I got these Cheerful Seasons stickers. I did actually have the whole Cheerful Seasons sticker book in my basket at one point. I was quite confused by the Happy Planner sale because at one point I had, I think it was about three or four sticker books in my basket and then I move things around. I tend to swap things around to see what I can get for the best deal and the least taxes. And the price just kept changing. And at one point it was a really good bargain. I think I, I was getting about five or six things for um, about 25 pounds. But um, unfortunately I probably spent too long shifting things around and then suddenly they added the tax and the tax seemed to increase or seemed to change every time I added something different. So I don't really understand because I kept putting the same things in my basket, taking them out, putting them in, and I would get a different price every time. So if you're from England, you'll know that they've started adding the tax on and it just seems to come up different every time. So I can't really understand it. And also with the shipping, sometimes the shipping was 10 
dollars and then I would put something heavy in and it would stay ten dollars but then I would add something light take the heavy thing out and it would suddenly be twenty three dollars so I didn't understand it at all really but I quite fancied these stickers the cheerful seasons thought they were really cute they did have some that weren't in the cheerful seasons sticker book so we've got a page for winter they're really pretty and obviously a page for spring that's long gone summer fall I've got so many fall stickers I did really like the page in the cheerful seasons with these trees but I decided there weren't enough pages in the book to justify buying the whole book We've got a whole page of school stickers and I imagine that's the fifth page. There are five pages, yes. So that's a really cute book. So yes, if you're in the UK, I would just be careful about what you put in your basket because different combinations of things come out as completely different shipping and completely different taxes. So it depends how much time you've got to spare and how bothered you are about saving a little bit. But I have to say, if I didn't have points to spend, I would have given up. So the last thing I got was this teeny floral sticker book. This was on my wish list that I made. I think it was in the spring release, but I didn't buy it. And I thought that I would treat myself, particularly now as I have a social media planner and it's not got a lot of space for decoration. So I thought teeny florals might be a perfect thing to use with it. So I'm sure you've seen this, but we'll just have a little flick through. So I thought these were really pretty and ideal for my social media planner, which is the Homebody Planner I've just bought. Got some pretty decorative boxes. Never really quite sure how to use the smaller boxes. Pretty colour palette. Do like the colours. Circles I always find hard to use, but I think I'm getting better at it. This one is a beautiful sticker here. Love this. More decorative boxes and some longer boxes. They're always useful. I really like the very long sidebar boxes, but books often don't have many of those in there. Checklists are always useful. I like to have checklists in my planner. I'd much prefer if these were squares, but you can cover up the little notch, which is for the monthly page. So that the date shows, you can just cover it up with a circle or another sticker. But my favourite box is probably a square box. And then we have the washi strips. I don't tend to use the washi strips in the Happy Planner books. I really do need to try to do that more. They are very pretty. Not so keen on these multicoloured checklists. Prefer them to be one colour. But I do like this pink and red. Oh, these are really pretty. I'd like if there are a few pages of these and you could put them along the bottom as it is you can't really put them all the way along the bottom there's not enough of them really pretty colors more boxes this time we've got the sloped edge rather than the little notch but again you'd have to cover that with a sticker if you wanted to disguise it We've got things like priority, important, day off, fun day. And again, these little boxes that I don't use very much, but I think I will be able to use those in my social media planner. Gold foil boxes. Again, really pretty. I used to be a big fan of gold foil and silver foil, but ever since I joined Instagram, I realised it is quite difficult to photograph and doesn't look as good. So I have tended to use it less and less. This is an interesting shape. I not really use this shape much in my planner, but I don't mind this one as much as circles. I don't mind things that are symmetrical and these are symmetrical and straight for some reason. Circles, the curved edge really bothers me. These are really pretty. It's nice to have some ready florals. And I thought this might go quite well with the Happy Blues book that I've just got from the Michaels exclusive. Lots of functional boxes there, really like those. Oh, we've got a few more of these ones going across, but they're not the same as the sheet we had before. And some quotes, always nice to have some quotes. More little boxes. 
quite a lot of decoration in this book so I think that you probably need to pair some of these stickers with plain boxes as well just to dial it back a little bit that's beautiful there is always a reason to smile more of these boxes why couldn't they have put squares in instead of having the notched ones and then we've got some here oh these are pretty but they've got the rose gold foil really pretty I do really like this flower really nice oh these are a bit different they've got little flowers on the checklist which actually is quite good because I often find that I can't fit what I want to write on one line so you can actually have more room to write your to do as you could use two spaces more of the quotes really pretty and then these ones have got can't really see it on the camera but they have got a pattern on them little floral leaf pattern they're a bit different not seen anything like that before with the circles on and then more circles so I really am going to have plenty of circles to cover up those little notches on the squares and I really like these I hope we've got more than one page of these just little corners to make the box look a little bit prettier no nope, only one page those are clear and then we've got these larger ones that you could use in the corners and then some gold foiled ones oh these are pretty I do like these these are little leaf design boxes and some rose gold corners I'm not quite sure how I'd use those and finally we've got some paper ones really pretty so I think particularly in my social media planner you'll see me using this because they are on the smaller size but I shall also be using it in my classic vertical as well so that's what I got from the happy planner sale came to about 30 pounds as I say I used my $10 points so that took $10 off the shipping so I don't think it was too bad for these things I'm really not sure what to say about this perhaps let me know in the comments would you contact happy planner is it their fault for not putting it in I mean this all could have gone in a package that size that would have fit through the door rather than using the giant bag that they did but it is also the postman's fault for bending it over and forcing it through I had a little note on the door as well telling him where I was which was next door so he could easily have just knocked next door and found me so I'm a little bit disappointed but I'm sure I shall be able to use these thanks for joining me today let me know in the comments whether you shopped the happy planner sale and whether you've ever had any issues and have they been resolved hope you have a great week take care happy planning and see you soon